G'day viewers, and welcome back. Today, we're going to finish off that bumper. Make it look not so stark against the little pink car. I think last time we left off, I was just getting into painting the top section. I boobied on the last one, said I was going to do the top section. I ended up doing the bottom section. Now, yeah, well, um, so here we go. I've painted the, the top section. Let's see how that went. Well, it's almost a, a week later. This has been sitting out in the sun all week. Most of it's pretty good. I oh, don't know, you can't see there. But up around here, we've got a lot of crazing happening. Even even down here. So, I'm going to have to address that first. You can actually see it's, it's still kind of shiny underneath that. So I'm going to need to sand that a bit more, reapply some primer, and then put this thing back together. So I've applied a light coat. You can see, probably see there, it's still a bit red there, and all across there. And I'm going to let that tack off, and I'm going to apply another coat. Everyone always says light coats are best. I've usually had the experience that just throw it on there, it should be fine. Didn't work in this case because the prep wasn't done properly. And this shows you just how important prep is. If you don't do the preparation to the to a good enough level, it's just not going to work. You're just going to have to keep chasing your tail. All right, quick look over. No more crazing that I can see. That's that's good. That's good. All that along there is good. Okay. Time for coat number two.
bend gets a bit low. And trouble spraying it out. But that's you probably can't see it on camera anyway. It's it's pretty much covered. There's a couple of little bits I missed too, like down on the side here, I had to redo that. And down in here, there's the other one. Yeah, the other one's fine. Whoop, this bit right there. That's better. How's the other side look? Yep, the other side's fine. Not that that matters, it's not going to be seen, but I do have to do the insert. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that off camera. But, okay, that's painted. Bug. Go away. That'll be right. A little bit of a craze there. I'm just going to hit that and see what happens. That should be alright. Bit light there too. It's probably not ideal, it probably needed a bit of a sand first, but oh well it's done now. We'll see what happens when it dries and when I go to paint it. I'm gonna put more primer on it anyway, but That's just the thing, I'm not painting them now, I'm just priming them just so they don't look so stark against the car. <sighs> That's it. I'll leave that to dry. I'll get back to it tomorrow. No, I'm impatient. It's dry enough, so I'm going to put it back together and put it on now. Everything seems to have dried up okay, no more, no more crazy. It's just a bit of pollen. Yep, looking good. I'll put this back together. Apart from the guard liners, which, yeah, obviously not in yet, that's, yeah, not sitting too bad. Everything else is bolted back in, but I don't know where that came from. But the guard liners back in, it's pretty much done. But one thing I was looking at on the old bumper, this is why I decided to change the bottom piece. Have a look on the bottom. See, there's a tab here, but <laughs> clearly there's a bit missing. It's clearly broken. That, here we go, try and get under the car, is, <coughs> here we go, that there, and that bolts up into there. There's the bolt right there. So I've got to take that bolt out to bolt that tab in. That's going to secure the bumper a bit more. I'll, I'll just go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back.
as the two broken tabs, they were still bolted on there. Luckily, I've been doing this stuff for years, so I can actually do that blind. I don't have to get under there and have a look and see where I'm putting the bolt. Fingers feel a lot. So, apart from that lights sort of could go out that way a bit more. And that one could, well, uh, that way a bit more. Which kind of tells me the bonnet's out of line. But we've already discussed that. That's pretty much it. As I said, just got to put the guard liners in. They're in the back of the car there somewhere. I'll get onto that. Don't need to show you that. <laughs> That's pretty self-explanatory. Not that you'd be able to see anything under there anyway. Pop that back on. And guy who usually does my roadworthy certificates, basically a safety certificate, um, is away until Tuesday. So I'll give him a call on Tuesday and see if I can't get him around here in the next few days and get this thing on the road. Yeah, I know, it still doesn't look great, but it looks a lot better than the bright red that was on there. So I'm happy with that. Um, well, I'm okay with it, let's put it that way. Alright, well, that's actually pretty much it. Um, you know, there's a few other little things to do. I worry about them, but as I said, main concern is get it on the road. Get it legal. So thanks, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. Leave a comment down below. I always respond to comments. And I'll see you on the next one.